Hi, it's Jane here from craftwithjane.co.uk and today I'm bringing you this really cute little gift box that I've made purposefully for um, this Bath and Body Works uh, mini uh, shower wash or um, bath wash and it's just so cute and I saw it in the shop, I saw it in Next in the UK which is where you can get Bath and Body Works um, and I just love this pattern, I thought oh my gosh this really really reminds me of this amazing new paper that we've got um, and I just love it, you can see it's all decorated um, and I've used um, this gorgeous like neutral base for the card as well which I just thought really went well with the colours here. Um, the designer series paper that I've used is called Full of Life and it is amazing. It's just so bright and fun. Um, it's got papers uh, like this with loads of rainbow colours all over it and I'm just loving it love this spot pattern as well i was tempted to use the spot pattern because it's got circles on it but i just really love the squares so i'm going to use the larger squares for this sample and then the one i'm going to make for you i'm going to use the mini squares as well so, so yeah um i hope you enjoy today's project so the cardstock I'm using is Crumb Cake. The measurements in inches are seven and three quarters by seven inches. I'll be sure to put the uh, metrics and centimeters as well as the inches imperial in my blog post, which I'll link below. On the long side, I'm gonna score it one and a quarter, six and seven and a quarter. And then on the short side, I'm gonna score it one and a quarter, three and a quarter four and a half and six and a half and that's all the scoring done so yeah, I'm just burnishing the uh, lines that I've just scored for the box this is a gorgeous um, crumb cake card and I just think it really complements the I was gonna thinking about using the basic beige, um, but um, yes, I decided to use this because I just thought it really sort of had that slightly rustic look which went with the ribbon. So I'm just trimming away here. And now I'm gonna trim down here. And this bit comes off then because this will be the bit that the lid folds into. There you go. And then I'm going to cut down these like so. I'm going to trim this down about three quarters of the way into that box there's no scored line there I'm just going to do it by eye and I'm going to mitre these like so because they're going to be the tabs do exactly the same with this one so I'll fold this up way a second so about three quarters of the way down this box I'll just trim along and then I'll mitre down so that's done by eye and you don't even have to do that I'm just doing it because it just adds a little bit less bulk when I'm um, doing the lid and then I'm just going to cut up these and mitre in along here and do exactly the same. Just take a little bit off the weight of the bottom of the box. And again, for this last one, I'll pop this template flat for you so you can see how I've done it. Fold that up and cut a little bit off the bottom there, just like that. And then I'll get all of this out and I'll lay this template flat for you. So that is how the straighten it up. That's how the template looks. Um, I'm actually going to use a corner rounder for the edges just here because you can leave it straight. You can just trim it yourself, or you can, if you've got a corner rounder, you can use a corner rounder to just make that edge just seem a little bit more finished on the box like that and then I'm going to get out all of my pieces just here so I've got a piece for the top of the lid which measures one inch by one and three quarters I've got some side panels which measure um, one and three quarters by four and a half 
um, they're the front and back, sorry. And then I've got a side panel here, which measures one by one and three quarters. So I'm gonna get out my liquid glue and we're gonna glue these into place before I make my box up. I just find it a bit easier to do it this way. So I'll start off with this thin piece. You could use both sides of this paper because of the rainbow effect on both sides. It just looks so gorgeous. And then I'll pop this in like so. And I'll try and get an equalish border around it. So that seems pretty, just look at that a little bit. It seems pretty equal. And then I will do this as well. I do love a beautiful gift box. There's just nothing nicer than making a handmade gift box and wrapping. You're effectively wrapping up your beautiful present, um, which you're going to gift to somebody. I'll put this on there. Cute. Little one. Just like that. And then we've got the side panel just here. So I'll pop a little bit on there. Just like this. And then I've got one more. Uh, yeah, the beauty of using liquid glue, you could use any glue, but I like liquid glue because I, I love to have the uh, uh, ability to um, just do a little bit of a wiggle um, if I don't get it on completely straight, which is uh, has been known to happen. Uh, so yeah, it's good for me. And I'll pop this one just like this. I think that's all of my pieces in place. Just smoosh it all down, make sure it's stuck relatively well. That looks lovely already, doesn't it? Now I'm going to use some of my tear and tape for this bit. So I'm going to pop a little bit along the edge just here. And you'll notice I'm going relatively close here because I don't really want any gaping. So yeah, and then I've got my take your pick tool. I'm just going to pull this off like so. And then I'm going to turn it around and just make the box up like that. And then I'll just re-burnish. Just do that. And that. There we go. Lovely. So that's my box. So what I'll do now, I think, is I'll make this end up just like that. And then I can help this to stabilise my gluing and then I'll flip it back over. So I'll start with this piece. And I'm going to pop a little bit of glue running along here and just pop these two down like so. And then I'm going to do a nice bit of glue along here like so. A bit in the middle and then I'm going to flip that over and straighten it all up. And then I'll open my box, use my bone folder and just wiggle it down there to get me a nice lovely box edge. Just like that. Super. So now I'm ready to put my gorgeous, you can see, look at the colour coordination. It's just so cool, isn't it? Pop that in. When I saw this paper, I thought, oh, I know what I'm going to do with it. It's the first project I had in mind to make. So for the ribbon, I'm going to use this amazing natural um, uh, polka dot, I think. And that's the name of it though. Yeah, polka dot trim. And it's just like duped with these white polka dots. And I just think it really complements this. So I'm going to pop a little, little bit of this around and then I'll try and tie a bow at the top. It's quite stiff this, so you just need to be aware of that when you're using it. But, um, obviously tying a bow can be quite tricky with the stiff uh, trim, but it is doable. So I'm just going to tie it like that and then oh, I might need a bit more ribbon here, sorry. I'm going to pull a bit more through. There we go tie it up because it's quite stiff it's nice to it makes you a really lovely sort of a bow that sits in place there we go. that way I've got more of the polka dots the way I tied it I tied it where the ribbon was um, going the other way and I had it like with hardly any polka dots showing and I thought well that defeats the object so yes I just turned it around which you can do which is helpful and then I'm going to trim that off like that and I'm going to do the same with this side so just trim off there we go 
so that's my lovely little bow just there for my sentiment i've used one of the new um stamp sets called country birdhouse and i love this hello friend and i've used the coordinating crumb cake um card as well for this and then for the die cut i've used this one which is one of my staples i use it all the time stylish shapes dies and it's this um lovely banner one which is like a shorter fat banner um and it's stitched um edging as well and i just love it so on this i'm going to use my stamping dimensionals you know they've got to come in somewhere guys so i'm just going to pop two on the back of here and then i'll pull the back ends off and then I'll look to see where I fancy this going. So I did quite like it going off the edge a tiny bit on the last one. So I might do it about here. I really like that look. So I'm just gonna press that down there. And then for my decoration, quite a simple little touch, I'm just gonna use these iridescent pearl basics. I thought they picked up the white in this paper. So I'll pop two of those on, which is my, uh, my go-to anyone that watches and I do like two one large and one small and um, I think I'm going to put the large there and then the small just down from it like here like that these are my completed um bath and body works um, mini body wash gift boxes and I love them I love this design of paper I think it really complements with the crumb cake as well and this sentiment and the script is just beautiful um definitely going to see lots more of that country birdhouse stamp set because I love it so much um and it's got its own design of use paper um that goes along with it. it's got two sets and it's gorgeous paper so I can't wait to share that with you um I do hope that you've enjoyed um, I love the thought of you crafting along with me always makes me joyfully happy um if you're interested in putting any of the products i've used please do follow the links below to my shop um if you're um interested in putting stamping up you don't already have a stamping up demonstration you live within any of the countries in europe that stamping up sells in then please do consider shopping with me i'd be so happy if you did also um for the month of may and i think this video is going out middle to end of May, um, then uh, there is an amazing joining offer. So the joining offer for Stamping Up is fantastic anyway, and there's no long-term commitment with it as well, which is you're not tied into anything. You could literally get the starter kit at a huge discount. Um, and then if you didn't want to continue being a demonstrator, you don't, you don't actually don't have to. It's a great flexible joining offer. You could pick any products that you want in this joining offer as well. Um, you see, you do get free products with it just because it's an amazing joining offer in its own right but at the moment in the month of May you get additional free products as well which is some of the in colour range products and it's just amazing so please do follow the links below and just check it out um, and have a little look see if it's right for you I'd be honoured um, if you joined our amazing little team uh, we're a lovely bunch of little crafters would be really excited to have you so um, please do consider that okay I'm going to say bye for now guys and happy crafting